With great power comes great responsibility. What other roles has Tom Holland been hiding from us? Tom Holland came crashing into the world of Hollywood the moment it was announced he'd be playing the role of Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But playing Peter Parker wasn't his first and definitely isn't the last role he's taken on since we saw him zip up his super suit. What if we told you there are plenty of other films Tom Holland starred in and you probably didn't even realize it? We're not just talking unknown B-rated movies either. Did you know he acted in the Disney movie Onward? And did we mention that The Avengers wasn't the first film he starred in alongside Chris Hemsworth? Get ready, because in this video, we're uncovering all of Tom Holland's most shocking acting jobs. Now everyone's gonna get to see me be a dog. You most likely know Tom Holland because of his portrayal of Spider-Man, but do you actually know how many times he's reprised the role? He of course was the star of Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home, and is set to release a third movie, but he's also appeared in tons of Spider-Man shorts. You can catch him in Science Fair and Peter's To-Do List. It's no wonder that playing Spider-Man has been his most favorite role yet. Spider-Man Far From Home was like the first time I got to play a character who, who was exploring so many different crazy things. Believe it or not, Tom Holland's Spider-Man films weren't actually his big break. His first appearance in the Marvel films happened during his cameo in Captain America Civil War. This is where he first got to figure out how he wanted to bring his version of the character to life. It was, um, it was difficult to me to find a new spin on the character. Imagine having to be compared to both Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Of course, if Tom Holland as Spider-Man is featured in the MCU, they wouldn't dare exclude him from the Avengers movies. He played a key role in Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. And despite Tom having a tendency to reveal pretty big spoilers about the films, the other heroes have had nothing but kind words to share about him. Best Spider-Man I mean, ever was. Stepping away from his hero days, after his big break as Spider-Man, he's gone on to land so many other roles, including a pretty awesome gig with Disney's Pixar. He voiced Ian Lightfoot in the Disney Plus movie alongside his Avengers co-star Chris Pratt. It might be a bit of a shock that Tom has dabbled in voice acting, but starring in a Pixar movie has always been one of his dreams. Get down on some cake. Ugh, that's not something anyone says. Speaking of voice acting, he also took on the role of Walter in the film Spies in Disguise. It was actually his first role coming out of the Spider-Man films. He got to work alongside the one and only Fresh Prince, also known as Will Smith. He just couldn't turn down the role when he found out how positive his character Walter was meant to be. I'll always have your back, Lance. It's what it means to be a team. 2020 has been no exception when it comes to Tom continuing to release projects. His newest role was in the Netflix film The Devil All the Time, where he plays a character named Arvin. But Tom had to step out of his comfort zone a little bit with this psychological thriller. He told Vanity Fair he was really nervous and scared during his first day on set because he didn't know whether he'd be able to play this type of character. If you've ever wanted to see Tom in a drastically different role from Spider-Man, this is definitely the movie for you. I've been watching your every move for the last couple weeks. Tom's next film isn't going to be released until 2021, but it actually first shot all the way back in 2017. Tom plays the character Todd alongside Star Wars legend Daisy Ridley's character Viola in this dystopian world. But because the two actors became super famous, super fast, they had to reschedule their reshoots all the way into 2019. It'll be interesting to see a 21-year-old Tom Holland take the screen when we've already watched him grow up before our eyes. If you want to see the very beginnings of Tom Holland's career, checking out his work as Isaac in How I Live Now is probably a good idea. This was one of Tom's first acting roles back in 2013. He starred alongside Saoirse Ronan in a war-ridden world where their only hope was love. Dramatic. Cool. Come on, let's go. Before he booked the role of Spider-Man in Captain America Civil War, Tom thought his film In the Heart of the Sea would be his big break. Who could blame him? He was cast alongside huge actors like Chris Hemsworth and Brendan Gleeson. He ironically used to beg Chris to give him all the details on Thor. Who knew that just a couple of months later, he'd be announced as one of the most popular superheroes of all time. Don't tell Aunt May. All right, Spider-Man. 
Pilgrimage was one of the last films Tom Holland released before his life changed forever. He played Brother Diarmid, also known as the Novice, in this 13th century film that followed monks and a very sacred relic. The movie didn't receive the greatest ratings and reviews, but he had Spider-Man to make up for it right after. Hey, could you hold this for a second? Thanks. Ah! It's almost as if the universe really wanted Tom to work with the iconic Avengers squad, even outside of the Marvel films. Not only has he worked with Chris Hemsworth and Chris Pratt, he's also worked alongside Benedict Cumberbatch. They both starred in the film The Current War, where Tom played a character named Samuel. What do you think? Is it fate, or do they just really enjoy working with one another? If the bulbs are a battle, then nail them on the dynamos. We can't. In 2016, he helped bring the story of 1920s real-life British explorer Major Fawcett to the screen. He took on the role of Jack Fawcett, his son. It's really interesting to see Tom Holland take on all of these different roles even before he came famous. Can we get a versatility? Who is to say it will not happen again? It could, mother. We all know how embarrassing it can be to look back at some of our projects from earlier life. But in Tom Holland's case, his beginnings are just as iconic as where he is today. The first movie he ever filmed was called The Impossible, and it was released all the way back in 2012. He played Lucas, who is part of a family who battles through a ginormous tsunami on vacation in Thailand. What's your name? Lucas Pellet. Okay, so this wasn't his biggest role, but it's still worth the mention. He got a little taste of the voice acting life for his small role in the movie Locke. He played the son of the main character, Eddie. His voice is featured in the phone calls Eddie has with him. Dad, it is so embarrassing. Um, yeah, what did you say about coming home? Edge of Winter was entirely different for Tom Holland. It was the first movie he released after becoming internationally known and basically a household name. He played Bradley Baker, one of two brothers who realized their dad may not be who they think he is. This movie also had an impact on Tom personally. It was the first film he ever shot alone without his parents. He flew to Canada by himself for months to film. So you don't want me to take over? No, I'm good, I'm fine. Tom had a very non-traditional role in A Monster Calls. In fact, if you watch the film, you wouldn't even realize he had any part in it. He acted as the stand-in for a monster that was later added to the film using CGI. Would you be able to tell this was Tom? We really got to see the bromance of Tom Holland and Robert Downey Jr. flourish in this movie. The two reunited after the Avengers for the film Doolittle. While Robert took on the main role of Dr. Doolittle himself, Tom voiced the character Jip. He's basically Doolittle's sidekick. How fitting. Jip, you need to stay behind and guard the queen. Stand back, everyone. Before Tom Holland could even hit the big screen, he started on stage. He was recruited after an agent spotted his amazing dancing at a local recital. He spent months training for the role and eventually took the lead as young Billy Elliot. His training for the show is the reason why he can do so many of his own stunts and the reason why we got the masterpiece that is his lip sync battle with Zendaya. Wolf Hall is one of the only series that Tom Holland ever actually worked in. He was featured in five episodes and played Gregory in this British drama series. You might recognize his co-star Thomas Brody Sangster in this show, who also worked in Maze Runner. Lastly, this small role was released right before he got his ticket into Hollywood. It was for the short film Tweet, and he played a character named Tom. Look at that growth. I've like grown a lot as an actor through the years, and I've played lots of different types of roles. There's no doubt that Tom Holland has and probably will continue to shock us with the talent he brings to the screen. But have you ever overlooked any of his roles? Did you have any idea that he dabbled in the world of voice acting? We can't wait to hear from you in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on another video from The Things. Thanks for watching.